we wanted everything to be safe. We wanted everything to be kind and loving. I got attached to them a lot. Some we would even name and stuff, and we shouldn't have. They were like a little kids almost. Then I had no idea that in the end, the babies would go for meat. It really drives home this breaking of the bonds between a mother and a baby. It's like you innately know that this is not right. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel so bad about it. I wouldn't feel so sad. I can't imagine what goes through their mind. You've loved this animal, and then you've sent them off to this horrible death. It's like a bit of your soul dies every time you do it. I really thought that getting a badge would allow me to do so much good. But it's very hard to protect animals that people view as commodities. And I saw the life go out of that individual a little bit at a time. And I never again in my life wanted to be involved in something that took the life out of anything. People in the community called Howard a turncoat. How could a rancher do such a thing? And it just shows you how quickly your life can change. Your feelings, your thoughts, your beliefs, what's important to you can change in a day. It was so large and it was almost like you just didn't know where to start, but something had to be done. They said you have, you know, 48 hour period to get all of these animals out of here. And some of them celebrated. They knew they were safe. There was a lot of babies separated from their moms. Okay. It was on the third day that we were able to reunite them with their mothers in that field. I don't think it's a question of whether or not we're greater or more intelligent. We're just different. 